Hi guys and welcome to Fez Air Software today. I'm going to unbox this Tokyo Marit Glock 18C AEP. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy my video today, please do consider liking and subscribing because it really does help me out. So today I've got a Tokyo Marui Glock 18C um, AEP. Now you will have seen, hopefully, that I've got one of these but the SEMA version of it and uh, one of my friends decided that uh, fire support were having a sale over Christmas so he decided he was going to pick one of these up uh, and got it for uh, £89. Now, I'm going to do an unboxing. He has bought a tight ball barrel as well, which is going to be another video uh, for another time in terms of how to install a tight ball barrel. Um, I'll just show you which one. He has gone for the 9 ball uh, 6.03 uh, inner diameter barrel for his little Glock, just to give him a little bit better, better accuracy and things. So. Here it is, um, Marui makes some of the nicest boxes, you've got nice little diagrams on the front, obviously can't read, I can't personally read most of what's on there. They're advertising one of their torches there, you get some nice images around uh, and things, and then it's just plain back underneath, and we'll get inside and see, we've got the manual, there it is, Whoa. looking forward to this. Um, straight away it doesn't look better quality than my uh, SEMA. So, in the little packet then, just to have a look what's in there. Uh, just a little warning, possibly a warranty card, further information, some targets, quite a few targets actually. Um, information that's not suitable because this one doesn't come with a charger and battery, but never mind. And then we've got the manual here just with the usual information, showing you how to put a battery in, and uh, showing you how to uh, change the firing mode, adjusting the hop unit, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm guessing that's adjusting the motor as well. Uh, nice diagrams there to show you how it's uh, disassembled or taken down. So I'll get those out of the way, and there it is. Oh. I do like uh, my Glock AEPs. In the box, it would usually be the charge and the battery. There is just the Tokyo Marui standard little bag of BBs. Now, these are actually BBs ones that I would make use of and probably will for chronoing uh, this little piece of kit as well. So there it is. Uh, get your little rod underneath. Nice little box. We'll get that out of the way. So um, it does come, obviously, with its hop-up tag, and it comes with, as Tokyo Marui always used to do, the little barrel blocker to stop you shooting anybody accidentally before you want to um, that is a nice piece of kit it definitely feels a little bit weightier and it definitely feels significantly um, more higher better quality whatever you want to call it than the SEMA the mag is already inserted so it's the little 30 round uh, metal mag um, it just it just feels better quality from the outset. It just feels significantly better quality. It feels nice in your hand. All the weight is in your hand because that's where the gearbox is. So it's nice and well weighted and easy to move about. You've got standard just white type uh, pistol sights there uh, for lining up your targets. I do like the vented uh, slide on top uh, with the vented uh, outer barrel in there as well. And you can possibly, not in this light, but you can sort of see that there is a barrel inside. And there is the end of the barrel there, looking down the barrel. So uh, you've got unique serial underneath and the little clip there to click a torch into place. Obviously, it's nicely moulded and stippled to make it comfortable. Uh, and the mag catch is nice and easy to get hold of. Uh, on this side, obviously, you've got the other side of the mag catch and you've got the safety there. So while that's clicked down, I can't physically pull the trigger. Clicking it up and I can pull the trigger now. And uh, back to this side again, we've got the fire selector up at the top here. So we've got single shot and then full auto. And to remove the slide to get to the battery, we just pop the button in and it comes off as easy as that. When you are putting this back on, it's always worth um, putting either to, um, full auto or most of the way down. And it goes on at the front like that. And then it comes down. In this case, I'm going to put it to full auto. It comes down and clicks in at the back there and then push in and push out 
like that. Uh, and then we're sort of passing to the inners. Here you've got your hop up, which is nice and stiff, which is what you want, because you know it's going to retain your hop setting once you uh, set your hop. So I'm just going to take that back fully off because I want to uh, chrono it with no hop up on. You've got your battery pusher there that helps you lift your battery back out. Now, I'm not going to be running on the, this on NIM time, uh, NIM type batteries. As you're probably aware, I'm going to be using LiPos because they just give you much better trigger response. And they now make them with the correct little end to fit in this pistol. So I'm just going to slide that in there and it goes red side down. I'm just going to tuck the little uh, connector in there. And uh, I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to go for single shot. I'm going to say that's definitely nippier than my Seema is um, in single shot. We'll go for full auto. Wow, it, it is so nippy. I know a lot of people don't like these uh, and, and won't like them, but if you're a big pistol user, um, the reason I've got one of these is because I want my sidearm to work all year round as I can't always trust it um, to perform well in winter. And obviously in England, we have that changeable a weather that uh, gas pistols are generally not always usable. This on the other hand, stick a lipo in it and pretty much all year round, I know it's gonna be good to go for whatever I need it. So I'll go and get it chronoed, I'll come back and we'll uh, finish up. I've got this chrono now uh, and it is very similar to the SEMA. It is doing between 225 and 232 FPS with the, the highest and the lowest readings that I got out of it. Uh, nice steady rate of fire. Putting, firing the BBs through it does take a lot of that uh, pop away. So a lot of that pop that you would normally get is gone when you're firing it on uh, with ammunition through it. Um, fed every round out of that mag absolutely lovely as I would expect it to do. It's Tokyo Marui. You wouldn't expect anything less from them. Um, I, I almost wish I'd sort of bought one of these in the first place uh, myself and not gone for the SEMA. Uh, but I'm, uh, I like my cheap soft stuff. Uh, basically because I like the price better, um, but absolutely brilliant. I am looking forward to A, seeing how well this works when my mate takes it out, and I'm looking forward to uh, putting in the type bar as well. Not that it necessarily needs it, but if you just want that little bit more range, a little bit better accuracy, a type bar is generally where you want to go. Um, we did pay it off. My mate paid £89 for this uh, without a battery or charger, uh, and the little battery inside about 12 or 13 pounds depending on where you get it from and now i have been asked a few times how do i charge batteries like this uh, my charger is one of the new pro ones that charges just using these adapters so all of my lipos doesn't matter which it is you just plug in that little charger that little white adapter uh, it's got two different adapters on mine so it's got one for 7.4 and one for 11.1s and you just plug them in and it's got uh, three red lights on it while they're charging or two red lights uh, while the 7.4s are charging and then they go green when it's balanced and charged so obviously if that's helpful to you I'm glad it is so I hope that's been helpful to you I will you leave the usual photos once I finish talking please do go and click like and subscribe because it's really helping me out and I will see you next time bye